Good morning, my friends, and welcome to our New Testament challenge. Today I'll be reading to you the seventh chapter from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 7. Hear now the words of our Lord. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you also will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured out to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eyes. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be open. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few will find it. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Now, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, we, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many, many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house upon the rock. The rains came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, the wind blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So let us consider chapter 7 in the Gospel of Matthew. Let's uh, think a little bit about what is included there. Again, almost proverb-like in that they're very short little vignettes talking about a variety of things from uh, be careful how you judge to... Uh, seeking, uh, ask, seek, knock, uh, the narrow and wide gates, the true and false prophets, true and false disciples, wise and foolish builders. You see a lot of comparison contrast here. And I think a lot of those uh, illustrations people understand. They understand uh, the wise and the foolish builder. They understand the idea that you have to have a solid foundation um, in order to build your house because storms will come. And if it, the foundation isn't solid, then the house will fall. Um, and he talks about, you know, also uh, ask and seek and knock. I, I think this for me is, is one of those passages that has always resonated with uh, my, my, my soul. Um, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. And then he goes on. He says, if you... You know, talk about us who are uh, faulty and failure, sin ridden. We're if we're able to give good gifts to our children, how much more so does God want to give to us? 
as uh, the one who is the greatest good, the one who is love, who is perfect. Um, he wants to bless us. And so he says, you know, ask, seek for it, knock, you know, request, reach out to God. God wants to bless us. Uh, he wants us to receive um, good things. And so, uh, you know, don't be shy. You know, uh, God's not going to turn it off simply because you, you bug him. You know, he wants to hear you. And, and as we communicate, as we pray, as we talk to him, God is at work in our own hearts. And so the more we ask and the more we listen, the better we're able to ask, the better we're able to ask for things that, that, that uh, allow us to fall in line with God's will. Um, so don't be shy about asking, uh, seek out God, knock on his door and allow him to, to bless you. Um, and be, you know, be willing to listen. Um, that's, that's a big part of the communication, big part of prayer is listening and seeing that we are, that our requests are in line with God's will. Hope this helps. Take care my friends and we'll talk to you tomorrow.